Good morning, afternoon, or evening. Lord Stan Dartage here, and once again, it's a pleasure for you to have me on your screen. Now, I'm coming to you today live from the vast Dard Gage estate to wish you all a very happy World Whiskey Day. That's right, today, May the 21st, is World Whiskey Day. Hurrah! Now, before we toast this auspicious occasion with a wee drum, which we will do, I guess you're all wondering, what the bally hell is all this, Lord Stan? Ah, well, I'll tell you. After my vast continental tour of the United States and Canada, I decided to chase up some roots and go back to the continent and Europe. And whilst over there, I was partaking in some gentlemanly activities, as one does, aha, including some equestrian um, artichokes and other things. Now, of course, these wild fillies, you know, once upon a time, they're wild roaming in the countryside, and now they've tamed and went right in them, but of course, one mustn't jump onto a mare without asking permission. And sometimes accidents can happen. But not to worry. The young doctor says I'll be back fighting fit in a month or two, and while I was under the ether, I decided to have a bit of a nip and tuck and get a few years back on the old Stan Dargage uh, body and particular parts that need to be refreshed, uh, to refresh and get back some of the old years uh, that the heart life has taken away. Now, now, back to World Whiskey Day. Did you know that the first recorded distillation of whiskey was in 1494? And it wasn't until the 1700s Bonjour, and 18th... Lord Stone. Ah, Frangelica, lovely. Your whiskey, monsieur. Ah, lovely, darling. You're looking absolutely splendid today. Will you take my book for me, darling? Thank you so much. A signed book by Reg Grundy. Percy signed book of Reg Grundy. Him and I go back a long way. Now, back to whiskey. Yes, yes, yes. The 1700s and 1800s saw an exploration of whiskey and distillation methods get vastly, vastly improved. And it wasn't then, the nasty government, that's right, brought out a tax, bloody politicians. So, most of the whiskey distilleries went underground, that's right, hidden in the heather they were called. Ah, lovely. Now then, the nasty tax of the 1700s and 1800s drove the whiskey distillers underground. Distillation was done in behind closed doors, a little bit like prohibition. And it wasn't until 1823 that the Duke of Gordon, that's right, decided that an excise would be a much better idea. And therefore, companies could make a profit and people could afford to buy whiskey. So there you go, that's a little bit of history about whiskey for you. Ha! Ah, a ah. little bit about general whiskey. You know, people are often coming up to me in the streets and saying, Stop looking at my girlfriend, you perv! But really, what they're trying to say is, Lord Stan, I want to be like you, I want to learn things and be a gentleman. So, let's Learn a few things about whiskey, shall we? Just a few general notes. Now, if your whiskey goes cloudy when it gets cold, that's a good sign that it hasn't been chill filtered. We don't like chill filtering. No, we don't. The chill filtering strips out the essential oils of the whiskey and takes out the nuances and some of the nicer notes. So we don't want that. Another thing we don't want is nasty colouring in your whiskey. No, that's right. So if you see a whiskey that's nice and light, that's a good thing. Just because a whiskey is a light colour, it doesn't mean it's bad. Just because the whiskey's a dark colour doesn't mean it's good. Aha, that's right, they're all different colours. Mm, a bit like us. Aha, anyway, something like that. And non-chill filtering, a couple of two little tips that Lord Stan has given you today. So, I think that'll do for now. I have to go do a bit more recovery and uh, have a few more drams for World Whiskey Day. So, pip pip, raise a dram to the whiskey of the gods. What did you know, whiskey is Gaelic for water of life? Mm, it is, there you go. So. Well, Whiskey Day, hip hip to you all, and we'll see you on Fish Plate Films very, very soon. Goodbye and God bless. Bye.